I'm an architect. Sorry? I'm an architect. Sorry? I'm a wannabe engineer, <laughs> but I'm really practicing architecture until I grow up. Well, my background is I've got degrees in mechanical and electrical engineering. For this first 10 years of my career, I practiced both about 50-50. It's a space for children and adults alike, but really it's founded in that, that inquisitive, you know, the naturally inquisitive nature of human beings, and I guess that all starts as a seed in our childhood. So the studies show uh, that when people are playing, particularly children are playing, but playing at all levels, we're open much more creatively than we are when we're told we need to accomplish X, Y, or Z. That freedom of play brings about creativity, which is a huge precursor to innovation. I think when we talk about integrated design, it's important that all of the team players around the table playing with what the possibilities are as a team. What I see in an engineer is, is really the first focus is problem solving. What I see in an architect is what are the possibilities. And while they're both creative endeavors, they're just coming at sometimes the problem in a slightly different way. Well, the big difference in my mind between architects and engineers, and I say this with great fondness, is that engineers are very structured and like to live in a world of certainty. Whereas architects live in a world of chaos that's about iteration and process. I think the challenge of working with architects is they're very much attracted to transparency with the building, making the inside uh, go out and the outside come in. And in our cold climate, that's sometimes an issue. There's lots of contentious agitation in meetings, but all in uh, good spirit and uh, with the best intentions. Telespark is a fabulously innovative building. Um, we get to talk to people about the amazing energy uh, management systems that we've got here, how our utilities are lower than they were in our old building that was 45 years old. Well, Spark is probably centered around three main mechanical features. The first one is water conservation, the second one is energy conservation, and the third is outstanding indoor environmental quality. If you look at the architectural aesthetic, it very much was derived from this notion of play and the notion of engagement. So the notion of scientific discovery, of uh, transformation. Uh, the openness in the space and the light is a very different mode for a science centre. I've gone back into some that I visited in the past after working here for a few years and realized how dark they are. Um, and yet humans love the space and light, and that's really what I think we've achieved here. I think when people drive along the Deerfoot and look over and see Spark, especially at night lit up with the LED perimeter lighting that changes colors, I think it's become a landmark in Calgary. I think it is iconic. Usually people ask me if there's one thing I could change about the building now that it's done, uh, and I actually don't really have anything that I could change. Uh, I think that we've done a wonderful job. I've had no end of people coming in from my sector, other CEOs of science centers, other professionals, and saying, this is an amazing space.